Hey everybody, this is Dracula. Coming at you live from the Magic City. Yeah. This is Stormworks with Drac Solo. If you guys want to help support my channel, smash the like button, subscribe, and share my videos on your social media. And consider becoming a member. You get the green name tag, the bullet badges, and access to exclusive content and emojis. Here we are. Stormworks. I'm here. That's the Aquarius upside down there. And that, where, where'd it go? That's a dead fish. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me make the... Huh. Bring the sun up. Oh, it's stormy. <clears throat> it's really rainy right now. Override weather. I'm going to override the weather. There. bring the rain down a little bit so it's not so uh, not so dark out here oh whoa, whoa. dang it <laughs> all right let me get back up here the tsunami came that fish ended up uh, on the dock and I tried to kick it back into the water but it was dead there's another one over there dead too Yeah, I'm surprised it was only two dead fish. Anybody know anything about fish? Can you tell me what that is? I thought it was a Pokemon. Or a Pokemon ball. But apparently there's a fish that looks like a Pokemon ball. <laughs> hey Pokemon fish! Is there a Pokemon in that fish? Alright, let me go over here. Um... So I work at this bench here and then spawn the, uh, my creations at the dock and the Aquarius went upside down. Oh, uh, I forgot to do my Facebook, um, uh, I'll put a post on my main Facebook page, but I didn't put out the, uh, the invite. To everyone I sent um, notifications to some family members also because yeah this boat I made because my idea of a of a, what a boat should look like is based on what I've seen and it was uh, or one of my, my family member's boats down in the Keys. Uh, and now it's upside down. So I'm going to spawn it again just so everybody can see it. What it's supposed to look like. This is, this is, the, um, this is the design screen where I created it. I'm going to just spawn it real quick so we can see it at the dock. Every time I spawn it, the uh, the computer drops it into the water. So, what I'm noticing is it bobbles around in the water some, uh, and every time a big wave kicks up, it uh, it capsizes. So. And then another another thing is is uh, it should go faster than it does, and I think I can solve that problem with the gearbox. Let me go over here and give you guys a tour. If you guys uh, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, if you weren't watching last time, what am I looking at? Oh, here we go. But this is it. Uh, there I am. Let's open it up. Go inside. Go to the first person. There we go. That's my tub. That's my driver's seat. I'm in the seat now. There's my gauges. There's the uh, the battery, the alternator, the uh, RPM. It's it's actually RPS. 
uh, revolutions per second. Um, the throttle position, which I can just look at this, but it's there also. The temperature, engine temperature, and uh, my fuel, remaining fuel. <clears throat> and um, here's my, um, my spotlights. I got spotlights all around. Um, the cabin lights at, at night those lights turn on the other ones over there I got two lights in the cabin so we can see what we're doing the starter no that's the dash lights I don't I don't know how well you can see that but the instruments light up when I do that um, that's the starter it won't start right now I don't think it the propeller did turn when I hit the starter though because it's direct drive but I have the throttle all the way down so it's not giving it any gas so it won't keep uh, it won't keep turning but I can take it out real quick and show you what it does bring the throttle up start it there it goes that's the Aquarius Oh yeah, and also my favorite button, this one. Wow, oh, foghorn. <laughs> I'm not sure how to make those lights work, so I haven't done that yet. Oh, and last time I also put some supplies in here. Fire extinguisher, rope, um, flashlight, um, first aid kit I got another one back there and let's again let's take a full speed ahead uh, full throttle and it goes it is pretty sturdy pretty pretty stable I think but I think it would be more stable if it had a bilge pump where I could put some water into the bottom uh, of the hull so it would ride a little lower and then bring it back up to, to this level when I, uh, when I go into the dock. It might also make it turn a little, a little bit more stable when it turns. Because you see as I start to turn, it goes like it's going to turn right and then it bobbles back the other way. Could be that I'm just turning too abruptly where if I just tap go like this make a more slower gradual turn it'll be fine uh, maybe not but it seems to me full throttle should be going faster than this which I'm gonna try to solve that problem by putting in a transmission um, and that also will probably fix my fuel consumption problem throttle back coming into the dock here where am I at 23% maybe about to 47 bring it back in bring it down All right, that was pretty smooth. And now let me um, take it back to the workshop, uh, to the workbench. Let's see what messages we're getting over here. It's Matthew. Larry needs to know his Steam Guard code and his friendly name for Steam. His friendly name for Steam? Um, let's see if I can remember his...
Matthew's trying to log in his Steam. I'm not sure if I can get on his, uh, let me see if I can. Gmail to your Google account. No. It keeps redirecting. I'm gonna try an ignore incognito window. Gmail dot com there Here we go. Steam support. Okay, he found out what was wrong. Never mind. Okay. Okay, I'm back. All right. Now, what was I getting ready to do over here? Yes, I remember now. Let me get into the engine compartment. Let me do it. Let me first things first. Let me um, let me add a bilge pump. I'll put it. I'll put it. Um, I'll put it here.
there. Dang it. Did it put? It put. Alright. Um. Pump. Here we go. Fluid pump. Let's put it here. I don't want it to go sideways. I'll put the fluid pump here. Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? There. What does this say? Fluid out. Okay, so I'm gonna need to do two of these. Um, delete this square now. And put one of these. and another pump look at there now this says fluid in this says fluid out so when this comes on that's going to pump water into the bilge that one is going to pump it out Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, I've got both bilge pumps in. One going in, one going out. Let's, uh, let's go, um, uh, electrical. We need to hook it to the battery. And I need to add some more toggles now I got so many toggles I don't know what to do with all these toggles where should I put where can I put more toggles if I'm here I'm already those are the lights I can put the bilge pumps there I guess um, toggle put here Okay, we'll put one, all right, flip it, no, flip it, no, flip it, and, and one here. Now, fill, bilge. Empty bilge. Okay. All right. This one fills the bilge. This one empties the bilge. Now, which one did I say did what? Fluid out. This one fills the bilge. So, I think I had it. I think I had it right. I had the one on the left saying fill, fill bilge, and empty bilge. So, this one goes to the bilge filling pump, and this one goes to the bilge emptying pump. All right, let's save. Uh, the Aquarius now with bilge pumps and let's spawn it let's see what happens all right let's get in here and close the, the cabin door that way I won't drown and, and it's electrical um, so it should work, work without the engine running. Let's 
fill the bilge. Why is it not toggling? Because I didn't connect the switches to electricity. The switches have no electrical connection. Let's return to the workshop and take care of that. See these little symbols there? Um, electrical connections. Okay, now the switches have power. Save the Aquarius. And spawn it again. Skidoosh. Alright, let's see what happens when I turn on the bilge pump. if it's even doing anything. Is there even any way for me to check? Let's start it up. Let me look uh, at my battery. The switch is on. Should be filling the bilge. Let's uh, try starting it up and give it some alternator power. Is it sitting any lower in the water yet? It may not be doing anything. This may not be how this damn thing works. Let's try uh, full throttle. See if it rides any different as the bilge fills with water. There's no way for me to look in there and see if there's any water in the bilge. While I'm doing that, I can check over here. Adding bilge pumps. Let me look at how this guy did it. Let's see what happens when I turn. It doesn't seem to be bobbling around so much as it was before. Alrighty guys, hello and welcome you faces back to another Stormworks Build and Rescue video. Alright, so... Let me see how he does bilge pumps. Okay, he's not using the pump that I used. Let's see where he chooses which pump to use. Here we go. Pump. Uh, we want like quite a few actually, probably. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, figure out which way around this is. This one is out. Okay, right. So we want it to be the other way around, pretty much. Actually, no. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, this is out. No. Okay, yeah, we do want it to be the other way around. There we go. Alright, cool. Uh, so if we put something like there, okay. Something there, there, and there. How many do we need? Like seven? Uh, dude, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Oh. All right, so I'm uh, seeing how he's is, putting his. Uh, we pump. want like quite a few actually, probably. And uh, how did he choose which pump to use? Pumping water in, uh, but we do actually need pumps pumping water out. So, uh, with that being the case, let's get some pumps and sort this out. So here we go. Pump. Uh, we want like quite a few actually, probably. Let's just see if I can find the pump that he's using. Because the ones that I'm using don't seem to be uh, doing anything. Because the boat should be sitting lower in the water by now. I don't think it is. That's the only way I can tell whether or not the bilge pump is doing anything. Ah! Uh, whoa! I just ran into the dock. Anyway, I made it. All's well that ends well. Going back to the uh, shop anyway. Okay, so I just watched... What's this guy's name? Frantic? Adding bilge pumps, supply ship build, stonework build and rescue. Um... He used a different kind of pump than what I have here. Let's um, erase this and this, and let's look for pump. Large fluid pump, impeller pump, impeller pump, fluid pump. Fluid pump there. Let me see if he goes to the outside, how he connects the pumps to the outside. There and there. How many do we need? Like seven? Uh, dude, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. All right, so I've deleted little holes in here. This is actually our little uh, our little transport cargo tank thingy, my Bobby. Uh, we're gonna delete this point. Actually, no, we're gonna delete this point right here. Uh, for every single one of these, there we go, there we go, there we go. He's All right, awesome. Holes, we like need I a did. fluid port, obviously. And he uh, used for a fluid every port. single one of these. There we go, like that. That's good. That's good, that's good, that's good, and that's good. All right, awesome. And then we just need some pipes. Yeah. All right, here we go. Whack that on there, and there, and there, and there, and there. All right, cool. And then let's turn all of these around. Here we go. One here, 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 and here. All right, cool. Uh, essentially then, all we need to do is go down and backwards. Hey, you pipe into a fine. fluid port. There we go. Yeah. All right, there we go. Nice. So we'll just fit those in. That's completely fine. Uh, we're going to actually do something like this down the sides, and we're just going to attach that to there. All right, that's okay. Um, these then need to have uh, fluid parts on the top of them. So we're going to ah. put that there, and there, and there, and there, and there. And, there. and then we're just going to fill this. Okay. All right. So if I watch the whole video, I'll see what I missed. And, and I just saw it. This is what he did differently. Let me put this one back. Uh, this way. We need another fluid port on the other end. Dang it. Stop moving funny ways. There. And what we're also going to do is just so I can see what's happening. We're gonna knock a hole in the floor. So I can 
see the the pumps while we're up there. I can look down in there and see what they're doing. Um, Aquarius, confirm. And now, you know what? <laughs> I just, um, I knocked a hole in the floor, but I just realized that that's not entirely necessary. Let me go back in. Hello, who's there? Somebody's watching. I'm not sure who it is. They haven't said hi yet. All right, so I, I knocked a hole in the floor floor of the cabin so I can see down into the bilge but um, this is what I'm gonna do also I'm going to uh, I'm gonna put a three by three window <laughs> um, two by two a three by three window uh, put it here Flip that window. <laughs> now I've got a glass window going down into the, uh, so I can see the bilge pumps. Yes, so I can see what they're doing. All right, spawn it. There's the Aquarius. And it's stabilizing. Now let's take a look in here. What am I stuck on? Am I stuck in the hole? All right, there we go. Open this. There's my port where I can see down into the bilge. Now before I do anything else, let me just hit this and see what happens. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let me start the engine, get a little bit more power to the, uh, to the pump. RPMs, alternator's up a little bit. Is it maybe not enough power to run the, th the thing? It should be working. I don't know why my bilge pump is not pumping any water into the bilge. Oh, what did I just see? I saw a little flash, a little glitch. Let me get in the seat. Let me look. Thing not running. Here we go. Doesn't look like there's any water down there. I got my fill bilge. Oh, you know what? Turn around. Back to port. I know what's wrong. I'm a nitwit. Well, let me just let me see what happens when I do this. Well, nothing's going to happen because there's nothing for, to pump out.
What the hell is going on? Oh, friggin' tsunami! <laughs> Again, a tsunami! Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna end up upside down most definitely. Again, I'd be very surprised if I end up upright. Oh, well, look at that! I survived a tsunami. Let me get back on course. I removed the bilge pump and then put it back and I didn't hook up the electricity again to the bilge pump. So there is no electricity on that bilge pump. The switch still has electricity, but the switch isn't even connected to that bilge pump. Let's see if I can get back to, I can go ahead and get back to the bench from here. I gotta be in proximity to the workbench to go in and use it. All right, you nitwit. Let's, uh, there is my bilge pump. And there's no electricity hooked up to it. There, now it has electricity. And I also need to hook it up to that switch again. This is my bilge pump fill switch. That's my fill bilge pump. Fill bilge. Uh, fluid pump. There. Save. The Aquarius. I'm such a nitwit. Let me see. Um, spawn it again. Look, you can still see the... Uh, the tsunami, the tsunami in the distance there. Enter, saith the me. Close this thing. All right. Now let's just turn on the bilge pump. See what it does. Look at that. Look at that. It's doing something. <laughs> It's filling the bilge. Let's sit in the seat and see if if the boat starts to settle. Let's um start it up so my uh, battery doesn't die. My bilge pump is working. I'm seeing more glitches down there. That means there's water. There's water in the bilge, peoples. There's water in the bilge. There's water in the bilge. There's water in the bilge. I owe oh, the dairy. Oh, there's water in the bilge. Let's go full throttle and see how the boat handles with some water in the bilge. If it settles a little lower. Uh, look at that. Look at that. It's almost covering the pump. All right, I have got a bilge pump. And it's... Yep, it is uh, riding lower in the water. Now let me... I'm going to turn the bilge pump off. And see how it handles this at this level. What I may want to do is um, cut, shut off the 
put a partition there so it doesn't go in the water doesn't go into the engine room uh, or it doesn't go to the very very back of the boat to, so it sits still a little more um, um, balanced although I guess it is good to have the, the, the bow high Alright, so my bilge pump is working. Let me uh, let me try pumping it out now. I'm gonna punch it. I'm gonna pump out the bilge. I'm pumping out the bilge. I'm pumping out the bilge. I yo the dare yo. I'm pumping out the bilge. It's going to take a little while for that to pump out the bilge, but then after I do that, I should notice the, the boat riding a little higher in the water. Can I turn around and look through here? Oh, look! That other pump is starting to uncover a little bit. It's, it's starting to be exposed there. It's exposing more, so the water level in the bilge is going down now. I've got bilge pumps! I'm wondering if I should put those bilge pumps further towards the back of the boat. A vehicle accident has been reported without an exact location. Mission expired. Oh. All right, let's turn around. Head back to port. Okay, we've got a working bilge pump. Uh, it looks like there's no more water down there. Or if there is, it's very little left. off the bilge pump let's see if we notice it riding a little higher in the water yeah I think so I think I think it's not as low in the back there in all right so I learned how to how to use a bilge pump how to install and uh, operate a bilge pump let's return to the workshop now that transmission I wanted to work on okay there's my engine so This is what's happening here. The um, the drive comes right out of the engine. It goes over there to the alternator, and it goes down there to the um, to the propeller. What I'm gonna want to do is I still want it to go to the alternator, but I'm gonna want to divert it 
over to the side uh, where I'm gonna put um, a gearbox and a clutch. So I'm going to need more, I'm going to need those uh, pipes, but instead of that pipe, which was a corner pipe, it goes this way, that way, and that way, I'm going to want a T, it goes this way and this way. <laughs> so it's going to come back, it's going to go to the alternator, and it's going to go that way to the gearbox, and then I'll come back. Uh, so I'm going to need pipe I'm gonna need a straight pipe I'm going to need this straight pipe as well I'm going to need a T-piece T-piece corner a T-piece enclosed I'm gonna need a Here, um, what are these? Gearbox one to one, gearbox three to three, gearbox five to five. What are these things? Linear track base, linear track extension. Modular engine clutch. Okay, that's not what I want. Clutch. There, got a clutch. Transponder, translocator, transponder. This just shows everything, right? Mechanics, propulsion, specialist equipment, logic displays, sensors, decorative, fluid, electric, jet engines, weapons, modular engines, steam powered, windows, that's it. So I want the mechanical components. Mechanics, gearbox, I see, clutch, compact linear, door frame controller, door, hard point connector body, I don't know what, uh, what those are, gearbox, five to five, Gearbox three to three, gearbox one to one, <clears throat> stormworks transmission. Let's go gearbox. How to use gearboxes in Stormworks. Damn!
Let me tell you. Commercials. Hey guys. Uh, this is Big Man Boy. Uh, with two of my engines that I've made. Um, uh, they're uh, Daimler Benz DB602 model engines. They work. Um, and yes, there'll be a whole lot of you in the be looking at how. Oh, this is a modular engine. That's not what I. Uh... Right, so let's start this engine. That's up. not what I need. The arrows are coming from your engine or your power or whatever. This I is have a couple gearboxes here, man. and they're different uh, in their ratio and in these arrows. And if you didn't know what the arrows were before, and you're a bit confused, then I'll uh, tell you right now. So, if the arrow did he build this thing? how it would normally be so uh, so uh yeah that's not that's about um Let's see what this so get right into it. And going into no. Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another stormwork. See if this guy is doing modular oh, here we go. also. Or if he's using And it. that's awesome. So All these right. two are exhaust. Let's see how this guy did his Okay, and then attach this to here and to here. Same with these ones. One there and one there. And then this can go in here and here. Okay, pretty. E and then we need to. Oh god. Maybe just a tad. <laughs> just. Everything I got going here. Yes, takes yes, 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 yes. For the yes, video yes. to load. Oh, we also need to add one to uh, like all of the engines as well, just so that we can actually um, start them. I guess. Yeah. And then attach these together, like. like... Isn't actually in. All right, let's let's attach our air supply. Here we go. So this is gonna have to go backwards straight far. This one's this gonna have to come so down. This is so convoluted. Okay, Stormworks. Simple boat. Let me tell you a story. To understand where a guy's building his what engine. is being piped to work, kind of thing. This is now, squirrel. I put an air intake box down here and the piping. Alright. So, next thing we need is fueling. Now, the fueling needs All to right, come and skip the fuel. I already have the fuel. So, to do this, we want a cross piece. So, we're going to look for pipe. And you'll see when you move it He's around, a bunch of gas it tank. will highlight. Alright. If you send it an input signal toward the power shaft, anything like that, it's literally just pipe of power. Think of it as fluid power flowing down a pipe. It's a bit of an abstraction, but that's essentially what it is. Now, the first thing we need is a clutch. And if you click on a clutch, it All says right. a clutch for managing the transmission of power between two nodes. So in this case, it's going to take the power coming from the engine 
and allow us to control the power connected to the propeller. In other words, when the engine's up and running, firing and generating power, if this clutch is on a is reading a value of zero, in other words, the clutch is on zero, nothing will be transmitted to the propeller. The propeller will stay stationary while the engine's running. If you send it an input signal, yes, I directing know these arrows, now if right, what is this thing? of the wheel or be transmitted to the propeller from the engine and allow us to control the power connected to the propeller. In other words, when the engine's up and running, firing and generating power, if this clutch is on a is reading a value of zero, in other words, the clutch is on zero, nothing will be transmitted to the propeller. The propeller will stay stationary while the engine's running. If you send it an input signal towards oh my God. It's just like any other gearbox, the rotation of your engine compared to the rotation of the wheel or propeller or rotor or whatever it is you're driving often can't be the same. So what you need to do is put a gearbox in the way that allows you to gearbox. translate the speed that gearbox of your engine like... to the speed of your propeller. It also allows you to, as it says here... Alright, he typed um, over here. He put gear box. Well, that's what those are, but that's not what I'm seeing here. It doesn't look the same. They're changing the torque values by directing these arrows. Now, if we just put one of these things down, I'll just explain this briefly. If you click on the properties, and I clicked on select... And then selected this, you've got two, two gears in this gearbox. The default gear, which is this one, ratio one, and then the gear that you can switch it to, which is this one here. So if I put this, for example, on two to one ratio, what is... All right, let's see here. This is a gearbox, one to one, three to one. Let me see, uh, we'll put it here and we'll take a look at it. All right, first thing first, uh, I need to knock this out and that. And that, and that, and that, and that. Let's go over one more, because there's a pipe in the way here. Let's put in a T, an enclosed T here. Yeah, that's good. We'll put in a, that's a straight pipe. I need a, I need an elbow. Pipe. <clears throat> pipe angle corner enclosed. Pipe angle enclosed. Angle enclosed. Put that in place here. All right. There. Straight. Dang it. All right. Now it's going over there. And we need another elbow. My elbow is going to go. that way and then uh, this elbow is going to go also that way nope there we go now in here there should be a power drive yep that's the power coming out that's where the power is going to go back back into so we're going to just put i'm going to just put the clutch right there 
Isaac Clutch and with some pipes. All right, here and gearbox. Oh, well, look at that. I didn't need to to do that even. That would have actually fit under there. So let me um, erase, erase, and put that here, and then put another pipe, and then two angles because it's just gonna go back there. Dang it! All right, so there I got a clutch and a gearbox. Uh, let me when it's off it's one to one when it's on six to five three to two nine to five three to two nine to five two to one all right we'll do two to one I don't know how well that's going to work or not, but we'll see. Um, so I'll have one to one for when we're in port and then I'll have two to one when we're on the high seas and it's going to, whoa, you're not going to believe it. It's going to be so fast. We're going to fly right out of the water again. All right. Do they need to be hooked to electricity? Yes, they do. Alright, they are hooked to electricity now. And I'm gonna need a... Toggle. The toggle. Put it here. Now that may be um, close enough to the engine that it's not gonna tilt to the left, but if it does, I can always put the battery back there. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and do that. Battery. Uh, Well, I do have the uh, the generator there. I didn't even think of that. I'll leave that. Uh, I'll leave that battery there. Um. Now I'll just have two batteries. I'll have an extra battery, a backup battery. <laughs> Let's wire it in. Um, electricity. Electricity. Wire it in. And I need something to uh, to turn the clutch and the. I need to uh, I need to put toggles for the clutch and for the um, oh I am running around out of out of space on this dashboard. Um, let's see here. Clutch and um, gearbox. Dang it! Get down there. Clutch.
gearbox. Empty bilge, fill bilge, clutch gearbox. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. What the heck happened? Did I not use that one for anything? No, I did. That's the starter. Yeah. Clutch starter. Clutch, fill bilge, empty bilge, throttle, uh, and gearbox. Um, I put that button there. Groku might mess with my transmission. <laughs> <laughs> Goku? Why would Goku mess with you? What's that mean? Alright. So Senpai, welcome. Thank you for staying and watching. Alright, I need to hook those to electricity. I, I keep forgetting to do that. Um, there. And there. Electric, electric. And then, I gotta hook them to their respective uh, components. So, this is the clutch. The clutch is here. Okay, that says gearbox. One to one. Why isn't there one for the clutch? I need to hook it hook it to electricity is that the uh, so I need to hook it to electricity first I have electric input clutch clutch pressure add between zero and one Gearbox one to one. A switch won't work for the for the Oh, I was trying to go from the wrong node. I gotta go from this node. I was using a logic node. All right, down. It's still not doing it. Let's see, there, there's a green one. There's a green one on my dial. Okay, I know I can switch between... Alright. 
and this one here. I'm gonna go down to the gearbox. That works there. Let me, um, I can't select it. Input not connected. So I could connect input to it. So I have to go from a, a lever? Maybe I need a clutch lever. Maybe that's what it is. So, alright, let's try this. Um, lever. Throttle lever. Let's try a throttle lever. See if the throttle lever will work the clutch. Roll. pressure uh, and this toggle switch for the gearbox there we go all right and I got all my electricity hooked up yep everything's hooked to electric and I've got uh, clutch and throttle Save, save the Aquarius, and um, did I ever hook that other battery up? I did, right? Yeah, I did. So I got a battery, and yeah. That should work. The power is going this way and that. It's going out here and down. And. Oh, wait a minute. Well, I've got that backwards, I think. It's supposed to go that way. <laughs>
there now the arrow is going the right way now I have to hook it up again um make it two to one again it's it already says gearbox all right and here hook it to electricity and that gearbox toggled gearbox oh do I have another dial up here that doesn't do anything I need to I need to put another dial Uh, I don't know I don't really need because the the switch has a light on it if the switch is on it's in high gear okay um, all right so that's everything I was thinking I needed to put another dial to know what gear I'm in but I, I, if, that, if that switch is on it's in high gear Wallace what's going on Wow, there's three people watching now. Well, let me tell you guys what I just did. Uh, what you missed. Um, I I put well I put some glass in the floor so I could see into the bilge, and I have my bilge pumps there. Uh, one fills the bilge with water, the other one pumps it out, and then I added a transmission here. There's a clutch in the gearbox, and it goes from one to one to two to one, and I put my controls, and I'm about to go try out. Uh, the Aquarius with the new transmission there's I added a clutch and a shift um, a shifter toggle to switch from low to high gear and I'm about to go try it I'm gonna save the Aquarius I believe I've got everything wired up properly there it is and it's got a it's got bilge pumps and it's got uh, his skidoosh <laughs> it's got bilge pumps and it's got um, a transmission now and now that I have a clutch I can come in here I can throttle up I can thr throttle up to 42 I can start it and I can watch it go the temp starts to come up my rpms i can check my alternator and uh my battery and um everything's going good and i can uh start to fill the bilge and i can sit here and watch i can see the, the bilge starting to fill and i can let it fill while i'm just sitting here at the dock now Yep, I don't have to be um, moving for my alternator to be creating, to generating power so I'm not draining my batteries by running the bilge. Uh, the bilge pump. So I can just sit at the dock and watch, watch the boat start to settle down into the water as the bilge fills. I can get out and I can Oops, look through my glass. Uh, you see the water in the bilge there? The water in the bilge. The water in the bilge. I owe oh, the dairy. Oh, there's water in the bilge. Mm. And I can watch it... Uh, you know, I could put some blocks down there um, th to act like a ruler that I can see from up here to see uh, 
how high the water is in the bilge. Because <clears throat> right now I can watch it. I can just watch it cover the uh, the uh, the bilge pump from here. Let's get the seat and check from the outside. See how. I look, see, we're starting to sit a little bit lower in the water. So let me turn off the bilge pump. Let me engage the clutch. And then we're going to start to go. I'm going out a half throttle. I'm out and I'm gonna I'm gonna throttle down some I'm gonna disengage the clutch I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn the gearbox to high oh look at my rpms up there I'm going to engage the clutch again now and oh here we go Give it a little bit more. The boat should go much faster now that I have a two to one transmission. Let's open it up. I don't know, we don't seem to be going any faster. Was the thing maybe supposed to go the other way? Let me look at my RPM and see. My RPM is maxed out. I think I maybe got my gearbox in there backwards. I think I had it right the first time and I uh, I ended up, because it looks like I'm going much faster now. And my RPMs are at 15 before my RP uh, my RPMs were at 20. Yeah. Yeah, I need to turn that gearbox around. Let me. I'm going in. As soon as it tells me I can go back to the bench, I'm out of the seat now. I'm just pointing at the. Uh, pointing at the hull. As soon as I get close enough, it'll let me take it back to the. Uh, um, Oh, now I'm starting to get nervous. There, bench. So let me go back to the bench now. So I guess I had it in there right for the first time, and then I turned it around, thinking it was supposed to go the other way because that's how the arrow was pointing. Uh, so let's put it back this way. Let's connect it to electricity. And 
logic. It's this one. No. Which one is it? It's that one. Toggled gearbox. There's the gearbox. All right. Override the vehicle. Skidoosh. All right, let's get in there again. Uh, give it a little bit of gas. Start it. Open the bilge. Bilge pump. Let it start filling. Let's go ahead and uh, engage the clutch and get it moving. Full speed ahead. Get out of the port. Guide it out past the or between the wrecks. And now throttle back. Disengage the clutch, turn the gear back on, engage the clutch, and full throttle. Yeah, that thing's real spinning now. Our RPMs are at 18. Not 20 this time. Throttle. Am I going faster now though? Oh, let me turn off that bilge pump. Maybe I need a uh, speedometer. Why am I pulling to the left? Is the wind blowing me off course? Oh, is it a tsunami again? I'm about to crash on the rocks. Um, all right.
It's hard to tell if I'm going faster now. Or in high gear, let's see. Let me see about uh, a speedometer if the storm works. Storm works instrument panels. Sensors, displays. Let me go. Let me go back and see if there's. Uh, a way to do it a speedometer By these things any faster. I just turn to the return to the bench. Speed angular speed sensor. Linear speed sensor. Let's put one of these. Let's uh let's see if we can make it work. This got to go in the water. Linear speed sensor, non contact and accurate. Steam community. What does the speed sensor use? All right. Speed is measured in meters per second, so if you need speed in kmph or mph or knots, then you will need to multiply blah 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 blah. Thanks. Sensors, input, display, and display, component tutorial. Let's see what uh, what this one does. 
let me tell you. Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to go into a brief introduction into inputs, sensors and display components. The objective of this video is hopefully going to be to cover the individual components anything above or below the sea level. So if you are above sea level or the represents signal ins or outs. I'll go over each one and tell you what they are. First off we have for you is going to be the altitude sensor. Altitude sensor itself is going to measure anything or one. So depending on what time comes sensor once it, as it says the name it tells you you are to an object. Um, so, um, as it says the name that's going to produce the number value between minus one and positive one. We then move off to the distance sensor. Distance sensor, um, as his name, it produced systems in your ships or warning. The and one being full. Next up, it's going to produce a number between zero and one. It's going to be the humidity sensor. They are in X and Y. So this will then obviously reproduce that number wherever you are in game and give you the coordinates. Next off, we have for you is going to be the humidity sensor. Next off we have for you is going to be the linear speed sensor. The linear speed sensor has four settings. When you're building and you go into your settings and click on this, four settings that are going to be able to choose from is absolute, direction, horizontal and vertical. This obviously measures your speed on different axes and then obviously it will output a number according to that between negative and positive unlimited range value on that. Next off we have for you is going to be the rain sensor. Rain sensor, very similar to humidity sensor, measures the rain percentage if there is zero all right so does this gotta go in the water or key button very useful um you can go into the settings and con Alright, so like, do I put this thing up here? Like I put this thing here and then uh, I click here, absolute. Okay, so it's, it's reading absolute right now, linear speed. Whichever direction I'm moving, it's gonna, gonna put out a data. Alright. Mm. Let me get a dial. Delete this one. What the hell, man? This put the dial there. There we go. Speedometer. That sensor doesn't need electricity then. Gonna go there. Speed. Max value, well, we'll put max value 50. But I have no idea how fast we're going. Maybe, maybe I'll put it at 100. It'll go. We'll see how uh, how much uh, play we get. I have because I have no idea how fast I'm going. Hop 
falling in the seat. Get that seat. Uh, give it some throttle. Start it. Let's go full throttle and watch our speedometer go. Oh, yeah. Need to engage the clutch. Forgot about that. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve meters per second. Thirteen point one. All right, let's uh, throttle back. Ten. Disengage clutch. Gearbox on. Engage clutch and throttle up. Let's see how fast we go now. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> was I uh, was I going thirteen meters per second before? I don't remember. Let's see how fast my fuel is getting eaten up. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, forty-nine, forty-eight, forty-seven, forty-six, and I'm going thirteen miles per hour. All right. Let's see. Um, throttle back to thirteen percent. And switch. Throttle all the way up. I'm going about the same speed. I'm not going any faster. And let me see here. One, nine, eight, seven, six, five. I'm eating up fuel at about the same rate. Did I forget? No. I hooked up that gearbox. It seems it's making absolutely no diff. Did I forget to turn it on? No, no, I got it off. I had it on before. I got it on now. I'm going 13.4, 13 13.5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, let me... I'm going to try it again in high gear. Three, two, one. I seem to be eating up fuel at the same rate. I don't know what's going on with that gearbox. If it's just not working or if two to two to one's just not that big a deal. I 
wonder if it make a difference if I put a larger propeller on. I guess maybe that propeller is too small for this boat. Let's try that. Take it back to the workbench. to me. Thought it was messenger. I don't know what that thing was. straight pipe and put a bigger propeller on. Prop. Giant. Large. at 7.17 speed is it six knots yeah I don't think <laughs> let's see if uh, let's see if this makes a difference now all right let me throttle back some <laughs> Bigger propeller. 
Made me go slower. Yes, I am not going faster with the larger propeller. I'm, the fuel is better. <laughs> so it's just not going, not going as fast. That's why. <sighs> but it, and it also just doesn't seem to make a difference. Um, which uh, gear I'm in. Two bench. gonna stay on let me uh let me cancel the tsunami I canceled the tsunami that should have Check again. Spawn tsunami. How long the sirens are going to keep going? All right. Turn those off. Let me fix this. That did not have the desired effect. I'm gonna put this propeller back on. There, fixed it. Fixed it back how it was. Now let me look here again. Two to one. All right. They look again. I did not have it set how it should have been. All right. Because I changed it again. I hooked up the everything else, but I didn't change the gear ratio. All right. Let's try this again. Clean all vehicles, clean radiation, reveal the map, unlock islands, spawn tsunami, spawn whirlpool, megalodon. Allow respawning, allow photo mode, vehicle spawn. 3D waypoints, vehicle damage, NPC player damage, sharks. Megalodons, infinite money, unlock all components, engine overheating.
Let's just turn that down again. I canceled the tsunami and now it's uh, stuck on the sirens. Alright, let's... Um, Fix it if I spawn the tsunami. Cancel it again. Going 13.4. Alright, throttle back. Clutch off. Gearbox on. Clutch up. Throttle up. Huh. Been in that fast. All right, let me just go ahead and spawn the tsunami. Maybe it will unglitch if I just let it run its course. So the RPMs are way down. So maybe two to one is too much. So let's uh, try different ratios now. Take it back to the bench. Let's change the ratio. We can go three to one, two to one. Let's try just going up one, six to five. Let's see what difference that makes. Let's go ahead and turn the gearbox on a little bit. Engage. Speed eight, nine, ten. Okay, look, it, it finally stopped. Let's 
so it did make a difference but it's still going slower so let's go back to the workshop now confirm What if we go this way instead? Let's try that. What the hell just happened? <laughs> My engine's on fire. I don't know what I did. <laughs> There's definitely a fire in there. Did I overheat my engine? Oh, did I did I go backwards? I was going backwards. Ha! Ah, look at that. I just ran backwards into the dock. That's what I just did. <laughs> I ran I ran backwards into the dock. <laughs> that's what Okay, that's what that does. Oh no. I'll take a damage. <laughs> so that says what that does. So the high gear doesn't make me go any faster. But I have a reverse gear now. <laughs> uh oh. Here comes that tsunami. Oh no, this is a tsunami, salami. <laughs> oh god, where am I going? Bye Aquarius. Oh no, I gotta go up. I'm gonna drown now. <laughs> Whoa, hey, look where I am. I'm on top of the hangar. <laughs> Where'd the Aquarius end up? <laughs> Look at the Aquarius. Oh my god, how am I going to get down from here? Tsunami, tsunami. Look at those fish. Oh crap! Oh, I didn't die. Mmm, fish. <laughs> they wiggle around for a little bit and then they die. Is that an eel? No. <laughs> Is this another one of those Pokeball fish? Yep, it's a Pokeball fish. Mm. I don't know from fish. But there's the Aquarius. Alright, so um, I did accomplish something today. I put in a gearbox. And I've found that a higher gear ratio doesn't make the, the boat go any faster. Is this still burning? It just went through a, a tsunami and it's still burning. Because I ran it into the <laughs> look at all the damage. I just ran it into the backed it up into the dock and did all that damage. 
Oh, let me, uh, Oh, I can't get to the controls. I thought maybe I was going to turn it off. Nope. So, there's only one thing left to do. Um. Load. The Aquarius. Reverse. <laughs> Reverse. So I did accomplish something today. It wasn't uh, what I I set out to accomplish, but I did uh, did uh, accomplish something. I added a well, I added a bilge pump, and uh, you know what? Let me. Um, I added a bilge pump, a speedometer, and a reverse gear. <laughs> so that is that is something. I think that's uh, those are things. Those are functions that I didn't have before, that I have now, and I'm happy with myself. What is that? Missing on off? Oh yeah. Let me uh the which one? This one. This is no. Yeah, that's it. This is the one that turns on all the dashboard lights, I think. Yeah. go here then I guess yeah there we go Reverse, fill bilge, empty bilge, throttle, clutch, fuel, temperature, throttle, RPM, speed. Oh yeah, let me fix this. Checked all of my dials. See if I can remember what they're for. Woo! I'm gonna save it again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One more thing. I know how to make it go faster. RPS limiter. There. RPM 
there, 40. Now I gotta watch out for the um, for the heat though. Max power, 100%. All right. You can change that if it's overpowered for your boat. Rev limiter bumped up to 40 RPS. Give it a little bit of gas, start it. Still only going uh, 13, 13 knots. I wonder if making the uh, making a boat more streamlined would make a difference. Let me let me see. Uh, let me try that. Let's see, let's see what that does. Let's do this. Um, this right here where it goes in the water. tree
Alright. I don't know how much of a difference that's gonna make, but we'll see. <laughs> We'll see if that helps. Mm, no. That actually looks a hell of a lot better, man. Let's see if that makes a difference on the speed of the boat. Save. The Aquarius. Spawn it. Oh, it's a little bit heavier now. Is it? Maybe not. Let's see. Let's get over there. F. And give it a little gas. Get it started. Engage your clutch. And fire it up. Let's go. What? Look at that. I got sixteen point. I, that made all the freaking difference. I go on 16 knots now, baby. I am faster. Look how fast I'm going. Let's try. Ooh. Just how it's hitting the water. That made all the difference. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I'm gonna need to pay attention here. Uh, half throttle now. Half throttles. And bring us in. 
And let's bring it down. All oh, stop. And we'll just coast in here. And we'll have to bring it up a little bit to bring us in the rest of the way. Motor in. What's your price for flight? And now, this is this makes all of the difference. Cause now we can bug out. Take a look here at the fuel consumption. Five, four, three, two, one. It's it's, it's using fuel faster. <laughs> Let's see uh, if I bring it back down to 13 knots by throttling down. All right, about there. One, zero, nine, eight, seven. Let's see if I touch just a hair. That's about the top speed that I had before. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. It seems like I'm using fuel a little bit more slowly at 90% throttle I'm going the same speed I was going before about 13 knots and uh, I'm not using as much fuel or I can go faster what is my uh, if I go full throttle what's my RPM 20 it goes above 20. Ooh. Now I think I've got another um, something I can do back there.
Alright. Electricity. A and D. There we go. It's hooked up again. moved the rudder back a little and up a block and I put blocks around so I reduced drag and I will have increased the turning power slightly drag a little bit more in the back there am I actually going slower than I was before because when I was going 17 before down there like that wasn't stabilizing the rear end or, or maybe the blocks I put are crowding the, uh, the propeller now or something oh wait no there it goes it went up to 17 now I still think it was going faster before still faster than it was before. Temperature running at 50. It's not going above that. It's going to do all right. My RPMs aren't much higher than, uh, than they were.
I got a couple more ideas of things I can do. Take it back to the... <laughs> it's still over there. Uh, from the tsunami, I guess. thinking I'm trying to think of ways to redesign this to make it uh, flow better go faster let me see if just moving the rudder forward one makes uh, a difference and getting rid of uh, those blocks. going any faster. Let me try putting it back how it was. Maybe it's just uh, I was maybe I was just remembering wrong. Let's erase this and move it down. to 
stick it on the bottom of the keel like I had it before. Only now put the Goes there. No, it was faster when I had it up there like that. Yep. I had it going faster. But this configuration is not faster than what I had. Uh, Got its increased drag. That's all. That's all it is. I thought it was some kind of magic stabilizer or something. <laughs> but nope. Because this is not peaking up to uh, 17. When I had it, um, let's try it again. Confirm. Wait a minute, that's not, that's not the Aquarius. There we go, that's the Aquarius. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Two blocks. works there you are now 
that's hooked up. Save. One more time. Looks like it's going faster. That's creeping closer to 17. Yep, not bad, not bad at all. Let's see if it goes any faster when I uh, start filling the bilge. starts running lower in the water. I don't think, it, I think it'll slow down as the bilge fills. Yeah, it's going at 15. See the bilge. See if the speed goes back up. Temperature. Temperature's a little higher too when I filled the bilge. What's that up ahead? Um, island. Wow, I'm moving. I'm thinking maybe it's not pumping the water out. Slow down and see. That evens us out. The water goes to the middle. I should have put the bilge pumps facing, facing back.
It looks like the bilge is empty now. Let's turn that off. I'm going to crank this up. See how fast we can go. Alright, going faster now that I got the bilge pumped out. Learning more stuff each time. I said I was going to make the boat go faster, and I did. I got a faster boat. I've got uh, reverse gear now. I've got bilge pumps, which I'm probably not going to use for anything. Ooh! But I know how to use a, a pump now so that I, maybe I can... Uh, put a water cannon on my boat for putting out fires so that could work oh I just blew my horn see my horn up there my fog horn <laughs> And there's my oh and I got a speedometer now I didn't have a speedometer before Ooh. I picked up to oh it went above 17 for a second there. Alternator is up at three. Batteries fully charged. RPM is around 22. Uh, throttle full position. Temp 50, 52 almost. Fuel at 356. I'm gonna have to probably add another gas tank at some point. Put another uh, fuel gauge up there because I'll need uh, a gauge for each gas tank so I know how much uh, fuel. Another perfect docking. That's my boat. What time is it? 10 o'clock. You know what I may do? do 
do some uh, some painting. Paint. Fill brush. Okay, our own brush. Oh, good, and we're still doing uh, we're still doing mirror. thinking it is but I want it for a Coast Guard boat same orange I guess it is was a racing stripes
change back to white here. Let that stay all white down there. Keep that theme of that black stripe running down here. Dang it. Oh. There we go. An orange. Make that horn black. Yeah, let me go ahead and make that horn black. There we go. on it see what it looks like some paint on it that didn't look Orange, it looks yellow. <laughs> oh, no, reverse. Maybe I'll look up later how my post is supposed to be painted. <laughs> Come up with some kind of theme. Oh, 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 tsunami. Keep it turned into the tsunami. Don't go sideways. No 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 I survived another tsunami because I got some cool new paint. <laughs> Why didn't I hear the alarm for the tsunami warning? I don't have the sound turned off now. No, I just got the music and the voice chat turned off. No tsunami warning this time, huh? Maybe that was a rogue wave. If anybody has any advice on how to make my boat more stable when turning, 
I'd appreciate it because that's I don't have many complaints about uh, the Aquarius but that if anything is the one improvement that I could uh, really could make why is it not throttling all the way down there we go came to a stop <clears throat> there's the other Aquarius over there still the, the tsunami moved it again alright so um, I think I'm done for now it's almost 11 o'clock I gotta work tomorrow Uh, yeah, to recap what I what I did is I I ended up uh, well I made the boat more streamlined. I painted it. I added a speedometer, reverse uh, gearbox, um, and bilge pumps. It's coming together. It's a it's a more functional uh, ship today than it was yesterday. <laughs> That's all folks. Y'all come back now, you hear? Thanks everybody for coming out to watch the show. It's been a lot of fun. If you guys want to help support my channel, smash the like button, subscribe and share my videos on your so on your social media. Consider becoming a member, you get the green name tag, the bullet badges, and access to exclusive content and emojis. I'm gonna be on tomorrow. See you guys then. Till then, happy hunting and yee-haw!